Hey everyone, it's me Fashion Coder and today we are going to be going over what Revoke Cash is. Now this is something that can be used by literally anyone for basically any blockchain network and it has a lot of utility because you know when we end up doing different swaps on decentralized exchanges sometimes you end up allowing the specific swap to have access to your specific coin. So take back your control of your wallet. Wonderful. I am on revokecash.com revoke.cash, <laughs> I was about to say .com, no. Um, how to revo revoke your allowance, so you connect your wallet, um, you inspect your allowance by using the network selection, and then you can revoke the allowances that you no longer want to prevent unwanted access to your funds. So when you sign over, like when you're doing a swap, you do allow them to have access to it, and so yeah, so why should you? So um, use revoke cash periodically, so you can go see every single like, transactions post that you've done. It's awesome. Um, you can use it after getting scammed. So then you, you can't recover your funds, but you can use them to then go in and revoke it if someone did take your funds. So that is something good to know. Uh, there's been a lot of different scams like through MetaMask with people like sending out emails. You don't even give your email to MetaMask. So if you're getting an email, like you're not, it's not them. Uh, so that's something. And then couple of frequently asked questions. If I have an unlimited allowance, does that mean my whole wallet is at risk? No. Let's see. Is it enough to disconnect my wallet instead of revoking allowances? No. Disconnecting your wallet does not do anything to protect you from allowance exploits. The only thing that happens when disconnecting your wallet from a website is that the website cannot see your address anymore, but your allowances stay active. Um, let's see, my friend, my funds were just stolen. Can I use revoke cash to get them back? No, it's a preventative measure and I want to revoke allowances, but when I add E to my account, it gets stolen. If you have so-called sweeper ball on your account that steals any ETH as soon as it comes in, your seed phase was compromised. This means that revoking allowance is not going to help with your wallet security. Unfortunately, there's no way for your wallet to recover from this. You should abandon this wallet and create a new one. And I will show you what that means. Okay, so if we come in here, I connected one of my dummy wallets. Um, it looks like, I was really curious what it was going to be. It looks like I have 69 hex in here and no actions need to be taken on that because I have not allowed that to go towards anything. I can't remember why I actually even have this up. And I also am not exactly sure why I have hex in it, but that's okay because I have, I feel like so many dummy wallets to the here we are. Um, and then I also, I have weight tokens on here, but there's zero weight tokens, but I did go in and I allowed it to look at my account. And so right here, if I click revoke, it'll bring this up. I do not have enough Ethereum. I'm pretty sure I have like $2 worth of Ethereum, which isn't even enough for this specific thing, but I can come in here and revoke it. I'm going to reject it though, because I don't have enough Ethereum. And so they have allowance to be able to go in and look at my wallet and not just that but they have it so they can like allow my specific token if I had any which there's zero and maybe no they didn't take that <laughs> because this isn't anything that I sacrificed on anyways so here we are you can do it for so many different things so this is on the ethereum network right now you can also go in and change it to literally any of these like Look at that. Even the test nets, you can go in and do it. Pulse chain test net right there. But yeah, any of the test nets, like you can go do that as well. And so this is honestly a very handy tool. You can add it as an extension if you would like, but you can go through all your different transactions. And if we look at that beginning video right here, they show that like how to connect. And then if you have all these transactions, like you can go in and put the different types of transactions. You can sort it a specific way and all that. So get revoke cash, check it out. This is something my dad sent me. And so I wanted to look into it, but I think it is a good way to have a preventative measure of these specific like websites, having allowance to your specific coins. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll see y'all later. Bye.